Not only did Nolan Ryan throw absolute gas, but he was a complete savage. Wow, is he throwing hard. People forget Ryan had a complete hammer. Here he knocks down Jody Reed. Now that he's in Reed's head, he breaks off these wicked curveballs that absolutely just buckles him. A complete savage move. Look at that. Here he is doing the same thing that Jim Rice, Hall of Famer, pegs him in the hip. And then watch this. He gets the buckle on the outer third curveball and gets this swing on a curveball. Just pure filth. This is an overlay of the fastball and curveball combo to Reed. You can see they look the same, and then the curveball buckles his knees, the fastball makes him hit the deck. That is pure intimidation. And check out these freaking hammers to Kevin Mitchell in the 1989 All-Star Game. Mitchell looks like he wants no piece of it, and then he gets another one. I mean, Mitchell needed a seatbelt in this at bat. Here's a slow-mo of Ryan's curveball, and you can see it goes from head to toes. And here's a home plate view, one from the 1969 World Series against Paul Blair. And then this one against Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt. You can see Mike Schmidt doesn't want any piece of this curveball. That is not fair. Just total intimidation, and there's nothing you can do about it. What are you going to do, charge the mound? That's not a good idea. As Robin Ventura found out the hard way. And I forgot to mention, Nolan Ryan also had a disgusting changeup, as you see right here. Ryan was much more than just a legendary fastball. Ball and two strikes. A good breaking pitch. A vicious breaking pitch. Remember guys, before you leave, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss the latest Pitching Ninja content.